everybody uh, today we are going to do a review of the J series uh, of LED star lights uh, we will do an, a full unboxing of the light uh, and a look what comes in the box uh, we'll look at the build and the specifications of the light a quick demo of how uh, plants and uh, tank look uh, looks in the light and uh, then we'll close it So let's get started. Uh, I have over here um, a 60 centimeter unit of the light. Uh, there are multiple sizes that we'll look into a little later. Uh, this is a 60 centimeter. Uh, all of the LED star lights come in standard brown boxes like these, uh, very nicely packaged. Uh, so let's take a look at what's inside. As you can see, uh, everything very nicely packed and uh, packed and tucked in. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the individual contents here. First of all, the light unit itself, Bluetooth connector, and the app manual. So that's all in the box. Let's look at the light itself in more details now. Let's talk about the build quality of the light. Uh, the body is built with 6063 aviation grade aluminum uh, for efficient heat dissipation. This is solidly built and uh, has a weight to it. Uh, feels nice in the hand. Nice and thin profile. Uh, you can see it's less than an inch thick uh, really. And uh, if you can see the profile cross-section pro profile uh, very nice and thin uh, a very stylish gray color with a glossy finish looks uh, very nicely built uh, you will see there are heat sinks along the length on both sides uh, these are built into the body for dissipating the heat uh, there is a central channel uh, on which uh, you can put the hanging ropes uh, and you can adjust uh, where you want to put them on uh, if you want to hang the light over the tank. Uh, it, it needs uh, hanging ropes that can be purchased separately. Uh, notice that there are no fans, so there is no noise. So that's a good thing. I like that. Let's turn it around and see what's what it looks inside or underneath. Uh, this unit is rated at IP68 waterproof rating. Uh, so what that means is it's resistant to dirt, dust, sand, and uh, submersion uh, under water up to 1.5 meter or about 60 inches. So if it drops in the water in your tank, uh, it, it, will, it should uh, be pretty safe. Uh, waterproofing is done uh, using a very high quality silica gel. Uh, that covers the surface so you can see all the LED chips um, and the wires and everything everything is coated with the silica gel this is very high quality and it's not going to yellow uh, or age over time uh, so there is no uh, degradation of the luminance uh, this is far better than a glass or a acrylic cover that some LED unit comes for covering this top surface uh, and I really like that uh, now talking about the LED itself uh, this is an RGBW light so it has got a 5 watt Cree 5050 uh, white LED chips which are on the both sides along the length and it has got 1.5 watts uh, AP star 5050 RGB LED chips which are uh, the interior rows over here that you see. RGBW lights have higher PPFD and same wattage and also higher uh, CRI uh, than RGB lights. Uh, the light is controlled by an app. Uh, the app is available on both Android and iOS. Uh, there will be a separate video for uh, using the app that I will link below in, on, uh, in the description of this video. Uh, do take a look at it if you are interested. 
Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the specifications of the light. Uh, this light comes in three sizes, 60, 90 and 120 centimeter. Uh, all units are 20 millimeter thick, which is roughly three quarters of an inch, uh, 165 millimeter wide uh, and use 36 volt DC power. They all provide uh, 1000 to up to 18,000 Kelvin rating uh, by mixing the colors through the app uh, and uh, they all can be hanged or mounted on the tank. AQ J60 is 58 centimeter long. Uh, it uses 80 watts to produce 5000 lumens and has got 44 wide and 44 RGB LED chips. AQ J90 is 88 centimeter long, uses 100 watts to produce 6480 lumens and has 66 wide and 66 RGB LEDs. AQ J120 is 118 centimeter long. It produces 7,680 lumens with 120 watts. Uh, it too has uh, 66 white and 66 RGB LEDs. Uh, now let's take a on tank demo next. Now let's. Uh see how plants look under this light uh, of course i don't have uh, these lights running on any active tanks right now where i can show it so instead i got uh, a pot of pogostaman helferi and one pot of saiginella walichi i believe that's the right way to say it uh, it's a vivarium plant not aquatic but red in color so I have got a red plant and a green plant side by side at the bottom of the tank uh, to show how they look. The lights are set at full on right now which means that all four channels are at 100% and uh, let's see how the plants, uh, the colors really uh, look like. I try to do my best with the white balance setting of the camera but there is, isn't one specifically for LEDs so I try to match what looked very close to reality and I think uh, you know it does a pretty good job so let's take a look this is auto white balance it, it, it looks a little blue uh, but when I get it closer I think uh, you know it uh, recalibrates uh, looks I am looking at it from uh, in a plain view and and the camera monitor and uh, the monitor definitely looks a little bit more brighter uh, at the top which I guess it would with the light falling directly on top of it uh, but the colors look pretty close so you know that should give you a pretty good idea about how uh, the colors would look under this light uh, I feel that uh, you know the color rendition is uh, really that is all with the demo. There you have it. Uh, this is a very well built light that anybody can use. Uh, in my opinion, these are best suited for deeper tanks. I prefer using multiple smaller units uh, to cover a larger tank rather than one large unit to cover the entire length of the tank. But uh, you know, you have a lot of options for different sizes, of course. So that's all. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, comment below and let us know what you think. Uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel and of course share it too. Uh, that's all for this one. Take it easy and bye now.